good morning everyone i am raghu babu working as assistant professor in the department of tripoli at madanapalli institute of engineering technology and science now i am going to uh, deliver a small lecture on analysis of first order active low pass filter so before discussing about this topic let me give you a brief introduction about electric filter so what is an electric filter an electric filter is a circuit that allows low frequency electric filter is a circuit that allows passes certain frequencies of signals and blocks or reserves other frequencies of signals this is what is the the basic definition of electric filter or simply a filter so where do we use these filters these filter circuits are uh, mainly used in communication systems and signaling process applications especially to separate a desired signal from the undesired signal so as to improve the the quality of audio and video systems uh, we use uh, filter circuits there so these are the some applications where we use uh, filters regularly now coming to the classifications so filters are uh, based on what frequencies it allows and what frequencies it blocks the filter circuits are uh, classified as three types one is low pass filter and is high pass filter and band pass filter there may be some other filters but i am not going to discuss about those so uh, based on what frequencies it allows and what frequencies it blocks the filter circuits are classified like this low pass filter what is a low pass filter a low pass filter is a circuit that allows low frequency signals and blocks high frequency signals so coming to the high pass filter an high pass filter is a circuit that allows high frequency signals and blocks low frequency signals so coming to the band pass filter a band pass filter is a circuit that allows frequencies which are fall in certain frequency ranges and blocks all the remaining other frequencies this is one of the classification of filters now we are going to see one more classifications this classification is done based on what component it uses to build the filter there are two such filter classifications one is active filter and another one is passive filter an active filter is one that uses active components in addition to resistance and capacitance active components like operational amplifier next one is passive filter the passive filter uh, uses only passive components to build this, this to build this filter so this is one more classification of filters now let me explain the difference between the active filter and the passive filter now later i will i will uh, discuss about the analysis of a first order active low pass filter now coming to the difference the, what is the basic difference between the active filter and the passive filter as we already told the active filter uses active components like operational amplifier so it not only filters but it also provides some voltage gain or a power gain that is one advantage of this active filter it not only filters it also amplifies the signal but whereas that is not possible in passive filters there is a no it doesn't offer any power gain because there are no active components present in passive filter and the second one is the these active filters are used in applications where the frequency range is less than 1 megahertz range whereas the passive filters are used in applications where the frequency range is greater than 1 1 megahertz i'm sorry 
so and the second point and the third point is in active filter the tuning is the filter tuning is very much easy tuning in the sense the parameter changes the the changing of the parameter is very much easy to get the desired response in active filter but whereas that is that is somewhat difficult in passive filter that is the tuning process is somewhat difficult in passive filter now now coming to the analysis of uh, active low power first order now uh, coming continue continue to the previous uh, slide so here uh, i am talking about analysis of first order active low pass filter we are saying that how do we say that low pass filter allows low frequency signals and blocks high frequency signals to uh, for, to explain that we need to have a frequency response characteristics or the curve of that particular filter a frequency response uh, curve is the curve drawn between output voltage gain versus frequency here you can see uh, which is uh, the frequency response curve is drawn between the output voltage gain of that filter and the frequency of that filter here you can see here this is the curve which is uh, this is a frequency curve frequency response curve of a ideal low pass a filter circuit and what it says is in ideally the low pass filter allows frequency from ideally the low pass filter allows frequency from 0 to cut off frequency fc this region this region is called the pass band region because it passes or allows only these frequencies from 0 to fc cut off frequencies uh, it blocks above fc it, it blocks frequencies above fc cut off frequency that means uh, that is why this region is called the stop band region uh, the stop band region where and there is a vertical transition takes place from pass band to stop band this is how the ideal frequency uh, response characteristics for low pass filter looks so in order to uh, draw in order to get the relationship between this output voltage gain and frequency for a first order low pass filter we need to do some uh, simple uh, circuit analysis to derive the relationship between the output voltage gain or the transfer function uh, and the frequencies so here here is the circuit diagram here is the circuit diagram of a first order low pass filter we are saying uh, uh, the type of filter is a first order because it uses only one rc circuits it, it uses only one rc circuits that is why it is a first order active filter suppose if it is a second order active filter it uses two such rc networks okay no? as the order increases the response of the particular filter is also increases that means uh, it blocks the frequencies at a faster rate or in other words we can say the order of the filter is decided by the number of components number of capacitor components present in that filter circuit so this is how we classify the whether the type of filter is a first order filter or the second order filter the role of rate increases as the order increases here yeah, and here this is this the circuit diagram of a first order active low pass filter so uh, connected in connected in non non inverting configured mode because the input the input circuit the input voltage is applied to the non inverting uh, non inverting terminal uh, plus we all you know plus is a terminal plus is a inverting terminal non inverting terminal minus is a inverting a terminal where r here r i is the input resistance of the operational amplifier where r f is the the feedback resistance of the operational amplifier and in high he, this r and c are the rc network parameters r resistance and capacitance here the i have assumed that i have assumed the voltage uh, i have assumed this point as a and the voltage at this point i have assumed as va va 
Now, as we all know that for a non-inverting amplifier circuit, uh, for a non-inverting amplifier circuit like this, because the input is connected to non-inverting amplifier terminal, for this kind of a circuit, we all know the output voltage expression. That is V0 equal to VA. V0 equal to VA times 1 plus RF by RA. Uh, this is uh, the gain. Now, where, where 1 plus RF, RA is nothing but the, the gain of the that amplifier, the gain of the amplifier, where A0 is 1 plus RF by RA. So, in Laplace domain, we can write the same expression. Uh, like this v naught of s is equal to v a of s times a naught you know so this is the output voltage expression uh, for a uh, non-inverting amplifier circuit the same the i am using the the same expression uh, for this um, circuit to derive the uh, to derive the relationship between the output voltage uh, uh, versus input voltage output voltage and the input voltage because here uh, we know uh, if we have if we have this voltage VA if we have this voltage VA so then it is uh, uh, now if we have this voltage then it is very easy to calculate the the output voltage expression with this uh, with this uh, equation so because instead of VA here we have VA instead of VA instead of VA we, here we have VA so first our aim is to calculate the VA first our aim is to calculate the voltage uh, across uh, voltage at this node A. Now, for, to do this analysis, I am considering two assumptions. To do this analysis, I am considering two assumptions. One is, <coughs> I am considering two assumptions. One is, for, I am considering the operational amplifier is an ideal op amp. I am considering the ideal op amp in an ideal op amp. Uh, the current flowing through the two agents for an ideal op amp, op amp, the two agents are I plus is equal to I minus is equal to zero. That means for an ideal op amp, the current flowing through for an ideal op amp, the current flowing through non-inverting terminal and the current flowing through inverting terminal is zero. And one more, one more thing about an ideal amplifier is the voltage difference between the two terminals is zero. The voltage difference between the two terminals is zero. That is, VD is equal to zero because we all know that an ideal op operation amplifier offers a virtual ground, a virtual ground concept. That is, that means there is a zero, uh, zero difference voltage here. VD, VD is equal to zero here. So, using these two assumptions, using these two assumptions, now I am calculating the the voltage at node A. Once we have the voltage at node A, then we can write the output voltage expression in terms of VA using this non-amplifier, using this uh, uh, non-noting amplifier expression. Okay, let me do that. Uh, let me go to the next slide. Here, here you can see, here you can see how, ha how I have written that expression in, Lap in Laplace domain the non for a non-noting amplifier. So in a figure one, if you see the voltage expression, we can write it as V know output voltage, we can write it as VA, VA of S. Then because we have assumed the voltage at uh, point A is VA. So using that non-inverting amplifier circuit equation, we can write the output voltage equation for a first order filter like this. V naught of S is equal to VA of S times A naught, where VA is the voltage across the capacitor. So using using those assumptions, using those ideal uh, amplifier, <coughs> ideal op amp assumptions. Uh, so to see uh, in Laplace domain, we can represent this R as R, and we can represent the capacitor C as one plus C S. Here I have used Laplace domain to simplify the uh, circuit uh, calculations, uh, circuit deriv derivations. Uh, here, uh, so fun. Finally, I can write this voltage across. Uh, capacitor that is a the voltage at point a is nothing but voltage across a capacitor which we can write like this using a voltage region because our circuit is something looks like this there is a voltage uh, there is a voltage va and there is some resistance and here is the capacitor here is a capacitor i want voltage at this point uh, voltage at this point is va that is voltage across the capacitor now this is the total voltage so it is a simple rc circuit it is a simple RC circuit, I can uh, write the expression as the output voltage, mm, the voltage at point A is like the VFS times uh, 
1 by Cs, 1 by Cs times total voltage that is V A of S divided by the, the total impedance that is the total resistor R plus 1 by Cs. This is the V A of S voltage across the capacitor. Now if we substitute this equation 2 in equation 1 then we will get the the, the relationship between the output voltage and the input voltage of a first order filter. Substituting equation 2, substituting equation 2 in equation 1 gives this one. Substituting equation 2 in equation 1 gives this expression where, where A naught is the, the pass band gain of an operator amplifier that is 1 plus RF which is entirely depends upon the, the feedback resistance RF and the input resistance RI. So, if we rearrange this equation, it is nothing but we get finally we got the expression that is the output voltage expression output voltage by output voltage of first order divided by input voltage of the first order circuit. So, that is the gain of the uh, the gain or the transfer function which is denoted by the letter H of S. So, we can write this as like this A naught by RC plus 1. Now, because our aim is to derive the expression for an output voltage gain. Uh, versus a frequency now i am converting this laplace domain into frequency domain by substituting s equal to by substituting j omega in place of s by substituting j omega in place of s the equation um, in frequency domain we can write like this h of j omega by equal to a naught by rc times j omega plus fine so the magnitude of this can be calculated the magnitude of this transfer function we can write it as like this a naught by rc omega a whole square plus one. Now here, going to the next slide. Here, where omega is the the angular frequency, where omega is the angular frequency that is two pi of radian per second. And we can rewrite. We can write the the same expression in terms of uh, frequencies. Frequencies f and f where f s is where f s is one by two pi. Where f s is one by two pi r c where fs is 1 by 2 pi rc is nothing but a uh, F, this is nothing but a cutoff frequency this is nothing but a cutoff frequency for a low pass filter high free cutoff frequency where fs is nothing but 1 by 2 pi rc which is a cutoff frequency high cutoff frequency for a low pass filter which is entirely that kind of frequency is entirely decided by these components r and c by varying these components r and c the frequency at which that cutoff happens can be changed okay now so finally in terms of substituting these uh, these expressions finally we can derive the expression the magnitude of output voltage gain or the transfer function expression we can write like this this is the this expression shows the relationship between the frequencies versus the output voltage gain or the transfer function now here from this we can explain uh, we can explain the equation in, in three cases because what happens to the our output voltage gain of an amplifier when the frequency varies that is what our, our aim is so let us assume let us consider three cases one is when it, when f is very very less than f is case one when f is very very less than the cutoff frequency fh that is assume f equal to zero substituting f equal to zero in this equation and solving gives the a naught gives the value is a naught so when whenever the frequency is very very low that is less than less than high cutoff frequency in that case the output voltage gain is a naught which is nothing but a pass band gain only which is nothing but a pass band gain of an amplifier pass band gain in case two to the case two in case two whenever when the, whenever the frequency is reached to fh what happens to the gain of an uh, output voltage gain or a transfer function here it says that whenever the frequency is cut off frequency the output voltage gain drops to 70 percent output voltage gain is drops to 70 percent of the actual pass band gain now coming to the case three whenever whenever the frequency whenever the frequency is very very uh, higher than the cutoff frequency uh, assume that frequency is infinity after substituting this in that uh, output voltage gain expression finally what we got the gain is zero so from these three cases from three these three cases we can say that uh, if we draw the characteristics uh, if we draw the characteristic curve between the frequency versus 
output voltage again or a transfer function the characteristics will be somewhat looks like this mm, somewhat looks like this here again there are three regions whenever the frequency is very very less than cutoff frequency uh, uh, whenever the frequency is very very less than cutoff frequency uh, it offers a gain of a naught it offers a constant gain of a naught this region is called the pass band region this region is called the pass band region whenever this frequency whenever that frequency is reached to fc cutoff frequency the gain suddenly drops to the gain suddenly drops to 70% of the maximum gain the gain suddenly drops to 70% of the past actual pass band gain uh, but as soon as as the frequency increase further as the frequency increase further the gain uh, the gain drops to zero the gain uh, the gain reduces to zero at a faster rate because as the frequency approaches to infinity infinity uh, that is that is infinity the gain of the filter circuit gets reduces so this is how we say from the mathematical analysis a low pass first order filter circuit can pass only the low frequency signals below fc and blocks high frequency signals so this is about the uh, the analysis of a first order active low pass filter thank you so much